listening to PetLifeRadio.com. I'm Smiley the dog. I am a mutt. I'm Smiley the dog. I'm super smiley. I have a cat too sweet to travel kitty. I have a big girlfriend and he's really pretty. I have a pony. We share a big horse. We have a big yard. Yeah, we have to, of course. I have a pool. In the summer, I stay cool. We have a fountain. Live in the mountain. Live high on the hump. Need to be a spokes dog. I'm Smiley the dog. Woof and Super Smiles. Welcome to Super Smiley Adventure on Pet Life Radio, the largest pet radio network in the world. I'm Megan Blake, the pet lifestyle coach, here with my sidekick, Giant Mutt Super Smiley, spokes dog for throwaways. Smiley and I just got back from the Sundance Film Festival, where his two documentaries were screening. And really, I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. The Super Smiley Flash Mob, a documentary, and his kindness documentaries were there promoting pet adoption and how dogs can teach kindness to us humans. So all of you know that one of Smiley's missions is energizing pet adoption with his Flash Mob tour, and that for two years, Smiley and I were the pet travel experts for a mega car company. So I am super excited today about our special guests. They are right up our alley and we love them. Subaru has partnered with the ASPCA to bring pets and their people together. So I want to welcome Jim Etchickson, the Senior Director of Corporate Partnerships for the ASPCA, and Michael McHale, Director of Corporate Communications for Subaru <laughs> of America. Hi, Jim and Michael. Hi, guys. Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. First, thank you both for joining a Super Smiley Adventure and for all that you all are doing for pets. Sure. My- yeah, Michael, we have seen Subaru's great dog-tested, dog approved campaign that is just brilliant tell us how that came about well you know it's fun i'm glad you like it we've just <laughs> launched a new bunch of them actually and uh the latest ones actually feature dogs buying subarus at a subaru dealership and we have a specially <laughs> trained dog salesperson who goes and, and knows how to sell cars to dogs and they're very funny but they come from a great place because they come from truth and when we surveyed our owners, well, maybe five or more years ago now, we realized that our owners, 70% of them own some kind of pet. Mm-hmm. And our owners are 1.4 times more likely to own a dog than any other competing brand. Wow, which that's is amazing. terrific. So yeah. when we realized all these people like our, like our cars, also like dogs, we thought, let's talk to them and talk to their dogs at the same time. Very, very smart. I love it. And I want to tell you, Michael and Jim, my dogs, Angel and Smiley, ride with me almost every place. So we're one of those families that you were just talking about. When we get a new car, the dogs have to approve. It has to work for the dogs. And as a matter of fact, before the show, Angel, Smiley, and I just test drove the Subaru Forester, the Outpack, and the Impreza, and they were all Super possum. There you go. Yeah, they're really big dogs. Smiley's a giant mutt, and Angel is a huge German shepherd. And I want to tell you, they both fit in the Impreza. It was amazing. Uh, so I can, yeah, I can say Angel and Smiley give all your cars eight paws up because they're eight of them. Great. Well, you know, because our cars are all-wheel drive, then if you're taking your dogs out hiking or you're taking them down the trail, the car will get you there. And I think that's part of the reason people like our cars is that they can go into the great outdoors with their pets and know that the car will get them there and back safely. Absolutely. They are truly dog friendly. And Jim, we all know about the great work that the ASPCA does. It's such a brilliant marriage with the ASPCA and Subaru to integrate pets into our lives and to help homeless pets at the same time. The ASPCA is a huge animal welfare organization, but many people don't know that it's the oldest. It's been helping animals since 1866, right? That's correct. Yeah, I think that they began with the mules even helping to build the railroads a long time ago and has such great history to it, right? Yeah, I mean, we just continue to grow and get more sophisticated in terms of getting getting awareness out there for, for the work that we do and for some of the issues that we focus on, whether it's helping people identify animal cruelty, raising funds for local shelters in their own communities, providing consumers with resources and information. So they can enhance the relationship that they have with their pets. Right, and the ASPCA, as you mentioned, has many, many programs, and one with Subaru is the Love a Pet program. Can you tell us about this one? Yeah, you know, our partnership with Subaru is pretty special. Um, We've been working with them since 2008, and I think we've really established a great collaborative partnership that, you know, each year continues to grow, and I think, as Michael said, it certainly makes sense for us 
as you know, Subaru owners index so high for pet ownership, and we know animal welfare rates at the top of their list. So it's a very natural fit, and a lot of the programs that we do are really integrated. Love a Pet is kind of a hallmark program, and it's such a unique way to showcase adoptable pets at car dealerships. You know, I know when I tell a lot of people, they're surprised, amazed, impressed that we're able to do something like that with Subaru. You know, we collaborate with local shelters, so we encourage those shelters to host on-site events at dealerships. We provide best practices, guidelines, and consultation on how to run a successful event. And the dealers, you know, help with advertising and promotional support to build awareness in those communities. And in some cases have even subsidized pet adoption fees. So it's a great program for us. It's a great program for communities. And we've literally been able to adopt out thousands of pets as a result of the program. That is amazing. And you mentioned local Subaru dealerships. Obviously, this campaign is national, but I want to focus on that. The local dealerships can host one of these events. And I I saw that you have, you mentioned adoption. It can be a toy food drive, a celebrity dog walk, talent shows, just whatever you can creatively think of, it could be done in conjunction with the Love a Pet program at a dealership. Is that correct? Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, that's correct. And the program has really culminated in something that we just finished up with Subaru, which is called Share the Love. It's their year-end promotional event where Subaru selects five charities for a cause promotion, and it gives consumers an opportunity who purchase or lease a new vehicle to select one of five charities to receive a $250 donation from Subaru. And we've been fortunate enough to be involved each year over the last five years, and we've been selected the consumer's number one choice among the five partners. And, you know, as I said before, what's so significant for us is that we've literally adopted out thousands of animals through this program. So in addition to the generous funds that that Subaru raises, it's really had an impact on our business. And this year, all the donations that are raised for us through the program are going to grants to local communities, whether it could be for spay neuter, it could be for vaccinations, it could be for relocations, it could be for conducting events. So we make sure that that money gets back to communities in all 50 states. And we work with hundreds of dealerships to make that happen. That is so cool. And the Share the Love event, I know that's an ASPCA Subaru event, but Michael, that actually, that sort of starts at the dealerships. Is that right? Because Subaru initiates the charities or something. Michael, could you talk about Share the Love as well? Yeah, we run Share the Love in December and most car companies do a sale event in December where they give money off a right. car. Okay. And we learned a while ago that our owners would prefer to give that money to charity. Yes. And it, it's a great brand fit for us. So we have uh, in December, if you buy a car, we have five charities of which you can choose, and you can donate your 250 from the purchase of your vehicle to any of those five. And uh, as you were saying, the ASPCA is one of those five and actually gets the, the most donations every year, which we're very pleased about. And we're, very, we're very honored to have those. The ASPCA is a great organization as part of our Share the Love thing. So if you're buying your car in December and, and it happens to be a Subaru, then ASPCA can get even more money. I love that. We love that too. And I, I read that ASPCA had received over $5.6 million. Maybe that's from the total total number of years, but it's from Share the Love. And this clearly illustrates how adoption and sharing the love is part of our consciousness in our commitment to helping animals. And I just want to say again, you guys totally rock. We love you here. And we're going to take a really quick break. We'll be right back with our dog-tested, dog-approved guests, Jim and Michael from the ASPCA and Subaru. Smiley, can you wait? Give voice. Sit, stay, we'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. I'm I'm super Let's Pet go. Where the pets go. Pet go. Where the pets go. Pet Life Radio has tail wagging, fur flying, fabulous deals for our listeners from Petco. Get six dollars off your order of sixty dollars or more, and up to forty percent off the entire Petco site. That's right. But that's not all. Because you're a Pet Life Radio listener, you'll also get free shipping on your order of forty nine dollars or more. Six dollars off, up to forty percent off, and free shipping from Pet Life Radio and Petco to get these. These awesome deals go to petcodeals.com. That's petcodeals.com. Petco, where the pets go. X Power is a global brand that offers a complete line of stand dryers, cage dryers, and multiple blasters that cater to both home and professional groomers. Designed to be quiet, lightweight, and powerful, X Power pet dryers will save you time, energy, and money. 
The X-Power B2 Pro at Home Dryer is the perfect gift for family and friends. Please check out our specials at ViperPet.com and Amazon.com. For more information, visit xpower.ws or call 855-855-8868. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. And we're back on a super smiley adventure with Jim Etchickson from the ASPCA and Michael McHale from Subaru. And we were just talking about your amazing events, Share the Love, Love a Pet. And let me get back a little bit to Love a Pet with you all because I also read that you can have like Agility Day or pet talent shows and local Subaru dealerships can host one of these. How can we dog owners participate or find one of these events or maybe even help inspire one with our local Subaru dealership? How can we help? It sounds like you put us both on the spot there. I had to think about that for a second. Uh, I, we ask the tough questions at a, at a super smiley adventure. <laughs> well, first of all, you should like us both on Facebook. I think it's oh, number love one. That. Love that. So Great. like the SPCA and like Subaru on Facebook where we have a list of our events coming up. And, our, and then also, if you like your local Subaru dealer on Facebook too, the uh-huh. dealer will list out their events for the year. And when the SPCA are in town, you, you can get to go along. I love that. That's a great idea. Yeah, go and ahead. obviously, then you know, coming to the event and participating, and you know, some of these cases you mentioned, some of the different things that we do. It may be you know finding your next adoptable pet. It may be a food donation drive. It may be to come out and get your pet spay neutered. Mm-hmm. Um, there may be an, an agility clinic. There may be you know meet your local pet behaviorist. Megan, maybe you want to show up for one of those and give a little clinic. Oh, we could bring the super smiley flash mob. We are all over that one if we get an invitation. <laughs> we are there. <laughs> all right. So you're in California, in L.A. We're in California, but our flash mob has been touring across the country. We've actually danced um, for the New York City's Mayor's Alliance for Pets at a Hall- big Halloween function in New York City. We've danced in North Carolina, Daytona. Oh, we yeah, oh, we just came from Washington State right before we flew to Sundance. So we are all over the place. And the smiley's here high-fiving you through the air, Michael. We would love to do that. All right. Right. <laughs> the idea of that. Just don't ask me to dance. And <laughs> Michael, you can direct. How about that? And whenever we do go across the country with our flash mob, we also work with local shelters. And that's one thing that I love about this ASPCA Subaru marriage, so to speak, is that you all work with the local shelters as well, even though ASPCA is obviously a national organization. Tell us about that collaboration with the local pet adoption people. Yeah, we have a we have a separate department called our uh, community outreach department that where we have folks in in markets all across the country who uh, work closely with shelters and and we keep a database here of information in terms of you know what shelters we've worked with, who's good to collaborate with. So we try and identify the most appropriate shelters in a given market that a local Subaru dealership may want to work with. And as I said, we share best best practices. And we've just gotten an overwhelming response from shelters that want to participate in these kinds of adoption events across the country, which are literally happening year-round. Right. I love that. And also, Subaru and Team ASPCA have other fundraising programs, like people can walk, run, or cycle for the animals, like a walkathon. Are you all still doing those as well, Subaru and, and ASPCA? Yeah, that's Team ASPCA, which is our endurance and fundraising program, which is also year-round, and we have a couple of marquee events, um, the biggest being in uh, Los Angeles during Halloween. Oh, um, where, I love that. Our are, are title sponsor behind the program, but it's just a great way to, for people to get involved with the ASPCA, get in shape while they're doing so, and encourage their friends to make donations and, and stay active. Well, wow, there are so many things you all are involved with. And Smiley and I also hiked across New England one year for a week. We were helping raise awareness for canine cancer and for pet adoption. So when you come out to L.A. for your Halloween event, we'll have to walk with you or, or cycle or run or something. We're going to be all over your campaign. <laughs> We'd love that. <laughs> Great. How can you and, say no to that? <laughs> and Michael, Subaru also donates specially designed vehicles for community support across the country, right? Like Tampa, Charleston. Tell us about those cars. How are they helping the cause for animals? 
You have completely flowed me on that one. Oh, I really? I don't know that one at all. Okay, it's wonderful. There's so much information, Michael. It's crazy. I was researching Subaru and, and the ASPCA, keep calling it your marriage, and there was just like campaign after campaign after campaign, and there yeah. were these beautiful Subarus that were designed for like taking the animals for spay and neuter and rescue and transportation. So, Jim, you said... Oh, you know okay, so we have wrapped vehicles for that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, oh, sorry. Carry on, but yes, I, I'm with you now. <laughs> Got it. When you say specially designed to me, I always think of engineering, but I understand now. So carry on. Yes, yes. You all carry on. You all take <laughs> So well, what do the vehicles do? They're really cool looking. Jim, you want to talk about them? Yeah, they are custom designed wrapped, wrapped vehicles. So there's branding for us as well as the local shelter who's taking possession of the vehicle. And we tend to you know, work with Subaru to select communities, which end up being our partner communities where we've invested more time, money, and resources. And, you know, they use them for their transportation needs, transporting animals, doing clinics. They may work with a local dealer and integrate. Maybe there's a, a major animal welfare event in the community where the vehicle can get exposure. So it's really been a great partnership and it's really been a great resource for these shelters that have daily transportation needs where they can put these vehicles to good use and you know Subaru gets some you know great exposure out of it. Yes. So if you ever see a Subaru driving down the street with the SPCA sign on it, you'll know what it is now. And yes, I mean, as Michael said, you will definitely be able to spot it. I love it. I think everybody should go to the site. I just Googled ASPCA and Subaru and all these programs came up. And the wrap is so cool. It's really beautiful. It's, it's orange, which I love. That's Smiley's colors as well. <laughs> Rescue colors. It's got the ASPCA and Subaru and, and all the cars. As I mentioned, the Impreza, the Forester, the Outback. I love them all. My Everybody knows my dog. Dogs are massive, and they both were just lying down perfectly comfortable, even in that little Impreza. I just loved it. And Jim, you were just talking about how the cars help with causes. Subaru also donated an Outback to the ASPCA CSI response team, which is now down at the University of Florida. Do you all know about that, or is that something else I've done? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I actually, I actually worked on that project, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty familiar with it. It was really a very unique initiative where, you know, we consulted with our anti-cruelty team and specifically our veterinary forensics team to work with Subaru to develop a custom-designed vehicle that had all these great features that our veterinary forensics team and folks at the University of Florida could use in the field. So the vehicle itself has, you know, a radio, it has specially designed lighting, it has a slide-out tray, so when those folks go in the field, they can actually use it as an examination table. It's also very colorfully wrapped like those other vehicles, and it's been in use for the past three years. And it's just a very sort of unique, unusual opportunity that we really feel great about, and Subaru designed it based upon our specifications. Right, and that's very, very impressive. And Michael, you had mentioned earlier that just regular consumers, one of the reasons for choosing a Subaru is that that they are designed, many of them, with the four-wheel drive so they can go out into the hiking areas. And this particular car in Florida, I imagine that it does go out into the fields, you know, looking for the, the animals that might have been abandoned or, you know, whatever's happening down there. And for that, we want to also give a huge shout-out to Dr. Melinda Merrick, M-E-R-C-K, ASPCA Director of Veterinary Forensics down there. So thank Thank you, Dr. Merrick, for what you're doing. It's actually Dr. Jason Byrne. Oh, okay. Well, um, Dr. Merrick is no longer with us, so Jason Byrne is actually the one who is responsible for the use of that vehicle. And Very he's cool. at the University of Florida. Okay, good. Well, Dr. Jason Byrne, we love you, and thank you, Dr. Merrick, as well, for all the work that you did before. So thank you, Jim, for that information. And Jim and Michael, Smiley and I want to find out about your personal pets, how they've inspired <laughs> you. We want to hear about the puppy bowl and how Smiley can get a driver's license. So we're going to all do right. that right after the break. Smiley, can you wait? It's going to be hard. Good boy. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. I'm Smiley Gum. I'm Super Smiley. Let's rock. Every pet is unique. Maybe they're gray in the muzzle, yet young at heart. Maybe they're growing out of the puppy stage and into their paws and ears. Or maybe they're just trying to maintain a more girlish figure. At PetSmart, we have the right food for your pet at a great value for you. PetSmart. Be better together. 
Go to PetSmartDeal.com and save up to 30% on awesome gifts for the pets and pet people in your life. Toys, collars, leashes, PetSmart gift cards, treats, and more. Go to PetSmartDeal.com today. P-E-T-S-M-A-R-T-D-E-A-L.com. Dyson. The new Dyson Animal Backs are powerful bagless upright vacuums for homes with pets. Air muscle and radio root cyclone technology generates the strongest suction power to powerfully remove dust, dirt, and pet hair from the home or car. To order your Dyson Animal Vac, go to DysonDeals.com. DysonDeals.com to order your Dyson Animal Vac today. Dyson, music to your ears. Coast to coast and around the world, it's All Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All Behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Hi, I'm Shirley Jones on a super smiley adventure. And we're back on a super smiley adventure with Jim Etchickson from the ASPCA and Michael McHale from Subaru talking about their amazing campaigns that help animals. So now let's get personal. Michael, do you have any four-legged inspirations in your life? <laughs> yeah, I, we do. We have a beautiful golden doodle who uh, <laughs> my kids love very much and his name is Lenny and he's the, the center of our world, I think it's fair to say. Lenny's yeah, a great guy. name. That's a great name. Well, we took it from the movie Hotel for Dogs. There was a, oh, a dog yeah. in that movie called Lenny and we just had, had picked him up that day and kids were watching it so he became Lenny and he's fabulous my wife also is a professional dog walker mm. and so we get yeah the English com. if anybody ever wants a dog walker in the Cherry Hill New Jersey area oh, but he uh, say, say her web address again say her oh, website oh uh, the English com, and uh, everyone in town knows my wife is the dog walker so Very we funny. regularly get dog guests we had two bees on freeze last weekend we have a boxer at the house tonight and yeah, <laughs> our house is always full of dogs Michael I see why you got your dog's name from the hotel for dogs it's yeah like, yeah that's, that's what we do <laughs> that's very cute and jim who are your pet inspirations do you have any personal inspirations yeah i mean i, I had a dog growing up so they've always had a special place for me and about five years ago my wife and i adopted an australian cattle dog called squeak which is actually the sound she makes when she when she tries to bark. It's very cute. These are but the best he, names. You guys are great. I love these. I love these. So tell us about Squeak, Jim. So we adopted her from a rescue group based in Tennessee, and they had 50 dogs of this breed, many of whom are on death row, believe it or yeah. not. Yeah. And Squeak is just, she's wonderful. She's good-natured. She's loving. I mean, everybody says their dog is special. I mean, I can say Squeak is certainly <laughs> special because when I bring her to the ASPCA, people are like, oh, my God, that's, that's really a great dog. She's so well-behaved. So, you know, I really feel like the opportunity that we have had to save her from her fate on, on death row is really remarkable. And she's so good-natured. We've actually used her as a quote-unquote spokes dog for Subaru at some little events that we've done. She's actually, her photo appears on one of the vehicles that, that Subaru gave us for our spade neuter efforts in New York. So as That's you can great. tell, I'm also her agent. So <laughs> I'm always looking for gigs for her. And she's That's very so well cute. behaved. Okay. That's so cute. Well, well, Smiley says that he'll have his people call Squeaks people. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> that sounds great. And I want to say I've been around Australian catalogs because I have horses and the barn where I got my horse, who was also going to slaughter my horse as a rescue as well. They had cattle dogs there, and um, they are really smart, cool dogs. They are very cool dogs. So I yeah, get they it. Need a, they need a job. They need some sort of, it doesn't have to be physical. They need some sort of stimulation. So, you know, playing games, keeping them active. Right, And right. I think what was important about the adoption process was also making sure that this dog was right for our lifestyle because the dog was on a farm, but we found one that had just a certain, I mean, Squeak had a certain temperament that, that's a little calmer than most cattle dogs. Uh-huh. So it made sense for her 
to be in a New York City apartment. We take her out to the park, we give her exercise, but you know, I think also when you know, choosing a dog, you have to make sure it's a right fit based upon personality and lifestyle. So. Right. Jim, I, I just adore that you said that. That's one of our themes on my radio show on a Super Smiley Adventure as well. To adopt pets, spay and neuter, but always pick the right pet for your lifestyle, whether it is a big dog, a little dog, a, a terrier, or, or a kitty cat, a bird. Whatever it is, make sure it's going to fit so indeed they do land in their forever home. Yay. And I know we're right. all in agreement right. with that. And I have a question for both of you. Now, I know animals are healers and teachers with my horses, dogs, cats. All of them have taught me something very unique. What have your pets taught you? What lessons have you learned from them? Who wants to go first? <laughs> I, can, I, can go. I think that I'm a more loving person. I'd like to think I'm a more loving person because of the love that I get from my dog. And I think if I'm a little bit more in tune with my surroundings and people around you, just because I see how she reacts to my wife and I and how perceptive she is and just kind of reading our mood. So I think it just, you know, makes me more aware of the environment that I'm in. I agree. I think that okay. they teach a heightened way of listening because dogs communicate yeah. with energy and body language. So we just become more attuned to people. But we become yep. better listeners. So, Michael, how about you? What have you learned from, from, uh, Lenny? from Lenny? Oh, yes. boy. Well, <laughs> you know, in my life, I probably I had, I guess Lenny's my fifth dog in my life. So up until Lenny, we, I'd always had tended to have collie dogs. And so yeah. we had a, a black and white border collie, a couple of those, and then a couple of mix Highland collie dogs. And so really smart, really hardworking, really intelligent dogs. <laughs> I tell you that Lenny is not the smartest dog in the world, but... But what he brings is this gentleness. Yes. To, you know, he's got that retriever gentleness in him and not so much of the poodle thing in him so much, but very gentle and calm and quiet around us. Ooh. So he brings a sense of quiet to the house. He's he's very soft and, and just, you know, can calm a room down and other dogs love him and he, he he's just everybody's friend. Oh, I love that. I love that. And what you reminded me of is my animals are very grounding. The way you were saying calm and gentle. Yeah. They're very, very grounding. They just kind of boom, focus your energy right, right where it should be. And and you know, Labradoodles, they also they're just so sweet. I believe that just the joy and laughter that animals bring to us is healing. And speaking yeah. of joy and laughter, Subaru sponsored the puppy bowl on Super Bowl That's Sunday, right? right? <laughs> I caught a little bit of it, and it was so cute. The little puppy biscuit and all those little puppies. Michael, what did you think yeah. about it? I, did you like it? Well, it? It's so great. I mean, we Super Bowl Sunday, you can spend $4 million in 30 seconds to advertise right. on the Super Bowl. And we would just rather spend our money in better ways. We'd rather give some money <laughs> to the ASPCA, you know, yes, yes. and sponsor the puppy bowl. And we think that's a much smarter spend of money for us. And it got us some great coverage, and Bloomberg covered it, and it's all that. It's also great. But in the end, I think just doing things that fit your brand is a much better, smarter play. I love it. I love it. And I call that having integrity, just having everything fit together. It all integrates with what, what your mission is. I yeah. love that. And Jim, the ASPCA does so many projects for animals. We've already mentioned so many, but I want to share with everyone that I went to Animal Lobby Day at the Capitol with the ASPCA to lobby for new laws to benefit animals. So there are so many ways we can help animals through the ASPCA. I, I'm sure you would agree with that, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, whether it's making some sort of financial contribution, mm -hmm. you know, so much of our work requires funding to be able to support all these programs. So we certainly encourage people to, to get involved financially. As you said, you know, you can, you can join our advocacy brigade, which is, you know, designed to fight for passage of, you know, stronger laws on both the federal, state, and local level. And then we will send people emails asking you to write letters to your legislatures to, to help pass these laws or this advocacy training where we actually train people if they want to engage in grassroots lobbying. We yes. encourage people to take pledges. I mean, all this information is on our website. You can actually go to ASPCA.org, get involved. But we have something called the No Pet Store Puppies Pledge. You know, a lot of people don't realize that most pet store puppies come from puppy mills yes. where pets are raised in, in really horrible conditions. So mm -hmm. we're trying to get the word out to encourage people not to buy anything from these types of stores. And we've had, I think, upwards of 100,000 people sign our pledge. You can become an ambassador. Uh, That's you can great. join ASPCA, which is our endurance and fundraising program. You could just do a little fundraiser in your local community, a bake sale, a bike-a-thon, a walk. You could create a tribute page to 
get your friends involved, get your family involved, uh, or you could just sign up for one of our news alerts or get you know tips on your phone about how to take better care of your pets. And us on Facebook. So if you go to our website, there's a lot of different ways uh, for folks to get involved. Right. There's just a multitude of ways. And back to what Michael said, having the brand all fit your brand as individuals, we can choose the paths that work for us as individuals and we all can help in our own specific way. And I'm one of the ASPCA guardian donors. And Michael, I saw that if you're an ASPCA guardian donor, that there might be some special deals on Subaru sometimes. Is that correct? Yeah, we have a VIP relationship with the ASPCA where if you're a member of the ASPCA, we can give you a better deal on your car because we think it's a great way to give back to the organization and a great way to show support for people that support things we love too. Right, and I have one more question for you all. Smiley's about to bust over this one. <laughs> he wants to know, how can he get a doggy driver's license? He saw me pull that up on the internet. Now, what is that about? You know, that one, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cute little doggy driver's license on the ASPCA Subaru link, and it's really adorable. Obviously, it's not a real driver's license, but it's a real cute little thing. Oh, right. and actually, yeah, that's yeah, right. it, it could be like a little gift, a fun gift for someone. I mean, right. I just love yeah. it. Or if you had a pet event, you could hand out like a dog park. You could hand out little doggy licenses. So, Michael, what did you remember? Did you, what came up in your brain? <laughs> no, I, I just remember that we did it. We created this set, uh, this um application where you could put your photograph in and it would create this doggy driving license. <laughs> it reminded me a couple of years ago, we did a, an April Fool's press release, you know, yes. in English, and we do these April Fool's releases where we were teaching dogs to drive cars in emergencies. And so, you know, if the owner passed out at the wheel, the dog could pull the handbrake. And so it was completely fake, but people right, bought into right. it. And the, as it were calling us, how, how can I get my dog trained that way? And so, well... <laughs> it might not be. Although, did you see, there was a video online a couple of weeks ago with a dog driving a car. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah. Oh, it's terrific. You should, you should Google it and take a look. It was, they had a dog and they rigged the vehicle up in such a way it wasn't a Subaru, but in such a way that the dog could drive it. And the dog really was driving it. It was very, very cool. Oh my gosh. Well, I will yeah. definitely have to look at that one. She and um, smiling to do it. <laughs> if you go to Subaru's Facebook page and all that information is there, if people want to create their own doggy driver's license or you know, okay. other, well, other activities yeah. are available. It's endless. The opportunities to help animals and to have fun and to uplift everyone is just endless. And I, I just love what you all are doing together. There's adoption events, finding pets' homes, protecting pets, integrating pets into our lives, and having fun in our dog-tested, dog-approved cars. I just love it. I love it. And let me let everyone know also that coming up on our show, A Super Smiley Adventure, we're going to be going to the Grammys again this year. And we're bringing the Super Smiley Flash Mob for pet adoption to the grand opening of the Zoom Room with actors Jack McGee and Muriel Hemingway. So they're going to be on. And we're going to have kids on from the new Nickelodeon television series that I was also cast on as an actor. And we play hillbillies. So that's going to be fun. But <laughs> but for today, I want to thank you so much, Jim. Oh, thank you, too. And thank my you. Michael from the ASPCA and Subaru. Yes, thank can, you guys. Yes. Can we on air just thank the ASPCA for all the great work they do? Because it's really all about them. Absolutely. Thank we you guys for everything you do. Actually, thank thank you guys. <laughs> You're such, I mean, seriously, you are such an incredible partner. And oh, bless you. It's a relationship that everybody in this organization is feels so fully blessed to have. So, you know, thank you guys for, for being oh, such a great support. Oh, I just okay. love this. I was going to say, you guys go out and share. We should do a oh, virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> virtual hug. And Smiley's putting some licks in here, too. So I just love it. Thank you. Thank you again. And from all of us here on Pet Life Radio, until next time, woof and super smiles. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.